So the other piece to this is that you also kind of alluded to um, the people that you have circling yourself in your life right now, like the difference from 12 years ago to today, the people in your life and how they have impacted your growth and development. What has that along the time, along that step, how important has that been for you? And then has it always been, since you've been aware of this, has it always been curated specifically or have people fallen into your life that have just impacted you significantly? Yeah, that's a great question, man. Um, you know, I've, if I trace back so much of my experiences, I mean, even to childhood, I would always kind of like latch on to the people that I was like, oh, that person's cool or that person's interesting because I was not, not by any stretch or scope of the imagination. And, and and that's subjective, right? Obviously. But like looking at it, I was always like, who's kind of doing the thing that I want to do? And I would just like trail that kid, right? And I would get involved and I would follow them and probably be super annoying too, right? But that's how I end up in, you know, JROTC and how I end up wrestling for 10 years and blah, 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 right? Yeah. And then as an adult, the disconnect again, Johnny, this is the clarity thing, dude. Oh my, I, I wish I could stress the importance of knowing what the fuck you want. Because yeah. when I was in my, my late teens and 20s heading into trying to make this money, I was only hanging around with people who cared about money. Mm. Oh, and like these guys are partying we're taking limos to clubs doing cocaine all night i didn't do i've never done cocaine but like we were in that environment and you know it was not uncommon for me to drop two grand in a club on a friday night mm. booze mm. and food and strippers and all that right dumb yeah. shit, man and so when i started getting deeper into this journey so i, I remember so i have this rock bottom moment right and a little bit of time goes by. It might've been six months, might've been a year. I, I can't really place it. But I see an ad from Brendan Burchard. And if you don't know Brendan, Brendan's like a Tony Robbins OG in personal development. Dude's been doing it for since we were kids, right? Yeah. And there was an ad for one of his courses and I saw it and it was 50 bucks, man. And here I am, I'm 50 grand in debt. And I'm literally, dude, I'm literally borrowing money from my girlfriend to pay my rent. And she lived with me. Wow. And I'm looking down at my shoes. And I got on this $300 pair of Jordans. And it hit me. I was like, I put more value into my shoes than I do into my own life. Mm. And so. I was like, fuck it, I'm already 50 grand in debt. What's another 50 bucks? <laughs> and I bought that course. And that started the trajectory for me because I was thinking about who am I learning from? Who am I spending time with? Who is it that I'm investing in? And simultaneously, I had this other thought. This is a scary thing. If you're a football fan, I'm going to tell you something that's going to ruin football for you. If you're a football yeah. fan, you sit down with a calculator. Mm. And you figure out how many hours of your life you've spent watching football. Mm -hmm. And bro, when I did that, that would have been 11 years ago. Mm. I've watched about 30 minutes of football in 11 years. Yeah. Because I realized it was all day Sunday, Monday night, Thursday night, all day Saturday. And then they had those random like Tuesday night games and shit. And I was like yeah. watching those. Next thing you know, I was like, oh my God. I'm watching football for 55 hours a week for the last 15 years. Yeah, you better become an analyst. Do the math. And so what happened is I was like, who am I surrounded with? Oh, these guys only watch football all day. These guys only go to the bar. These guys only focus on money. Mm. Wait a second. My life's a disaster. Their lives don't look that great. I'm in this Brendan Burchard course, and he's talking about possibility. Let me reframe some. Hmm. Let me look at the environment I'm putting myself in. And so in that, man, and you hear this a lot, but like as you grow, people are going to want to pull you down. Hmm. A lot of these friends are not my friends anymore. Dude, actually, probably almost none of them. Maybe one or two of them are. And look, that's not because I don't love them. It's not because there was not a season in which we served each other. It's not because I don't think they're good people. They ain't going where I'm going. Mm. 
because I'm not coming to your house to watch football for eight hours. I'm not doing it. Never under any circumstance. Right. And so as this progressed and I started to grow and I got clarity again, coming to this word, word of the day, get clarity about what you want. I said, I want to be mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and financially healthy. As per my definition, I want success. I want to be able to impact my own life first. I never planned on this. Coaching and podcasting and writing books and speaking, dude, that was never the game plan. The game plan was take care of my own, period.